guide you as to how we play the guitar. For that, I need you to have a book with you. So a plain notebook, preferably a A4 size notebook. Yeah. And a A4 size notebook like this. And then I want you to draw some pictures. The sound hole is on the top and the guitar is resting on its back. And here you can see a lot of vertical lines and these are called the frets and you can see six strings of your guitar. So this is the first string, second, third, four, five and six. The sharpest string is the first string and the bass string is the sixth string. And this will lead to a nut. This is the nut of the guitar and what I suggest is you draw this picture from the nut to the bridge of the guitar. This is the bridge of the guitar right? and what you find here is the saddle through which the string is passing. So I want you to put this on a piece of paper just like this. So you draw this picture there and this is the, this is the nut and this is the bridge. So the line right at top becomes the first string of your guitar. This is the second one, three, four, five, and six. So I will mark one, two, three, four, five, six. And when this is done, we write TAB right there to understand that it is a tablature for the guitar and you have something like this can you see this you have something like this and it's marked as tablature and here we have written the short form of tablature tab so then you will ask me what uh, what happens why do you do this all right now i'm able i can write numbers i can write numbers here like zero one Three. And then what do we do? I have written three consecutive numbers, 0, 1, and 3, at the very last line of the tablature. And it is going to be our endeavor to locate these three notes on the guitar. So, which is the last line? Last line happens to be the sixth string of your guitar. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And on the sixth string, you are, sub, you are not pressing any fret because your first number you got is a zero. And then you have one, so you have to press it on the first fret. There. Like that. And then you have to press it on the third fret. So I have, I have three notes written down on the tablature and it goes like zero, one, three. Once more. Three notes on the tablature goes like zero, one, three. Once more, three notes on the tablature goes like zero, one, three. At this juncture, I have to talk to you about the one fret, one finger rule. Rule that is followed universally for your left hand while playing the guitar. And it's called the one fret, one finger rule. These are your fingers. So now you have the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the little finger, which is also called as the pinky. Most of the guitar players call it the pinky because it is the weakest finger. So the one fret, one finger rule says that the first fret has to be fretted with the index finger, like that. The second fret with the middle finger, third fret with the ring finger, and fourth fret with the pinky. Can you see that? So you, you play one note with your index, then with your middle, then with your ring, and then with your pinky, and after that you have to do the shift play. So the index is shifted to the fifth fret. I'll show you once more. This is the index, this is the middle, this is the ring, and this is the pinky, and then you do the shift play. Go to your notebook and draw this picture and 
mark index middle ring pinky or the little finger and write down the one fret one finger rule the rule says once first fret has to be fretted with the index finger the second with the middle finger the third with the ring finger and fourth with the little finger or the pinky this is followed all over the world by the guitarists what are we trying to find here we are trying to find the notes that correspond to different frets and different strings so your guitar has got strings that have that are corresponding to certain notes so to remember the name of your strings you have to remember this mnemonics every bright girl deserve all encouragement where every stands for e bright stands for b girl stands for g deserve stands for d and all stands for a and encouragement stands for e so the names of your guitar go strings go every bright girl deserve all encouragement or e b g d a e write it down on the tablature and there you got the names of your guitar strings so the guitar has to be tuned to these notes e b g d a e as the tablature suggests and i have to let tell you i have to recommend uh, a guitar with a tuner i highly recommend a guitar with a tuner this is a yamaha yamaha has got a tuner so you need not worry in the initial stages to tune your guitar just switch on the tuner and keep your guitar in tune now that we have looked we know the notes of the guitar strings we can locate all a set of notes and it's usually called the scale on the tablature and we can post it on the tablature and we find we get something like this 0 1 3 on the last string 0 2 3 on the fifth string 0 2 3 on the fourth string 0 2 on the third string 0 1 3 on the second and 0 on the first string so we got a scale which goes e f g a b c D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And let's write it down. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. So the scale of E has seven notes e f g a b c and it is played in two octaves so you have e f g a b c d e f g a b c d e hope you got this this will be discussed in length as we proceed to our classes that we have prepared the score it is time for you to locate those notes on the guitar and locating the notes i know it is uh, complicated for the beginner anyways I am just going to read through the tablature that we have written. So how do you read? You look at the tablature and you place your fingers on those specified frets, press it and you strike the note like this. First you have the open E, then you play 1, then you play 3, then you go to 5th string, open 2, 3, look you are always sticking to the one fret one finger rule then you play open on the fourth string then you have two and the three then you play open then you have the two then you play open you have the one and the three and the open so i play it a little faster in such a position as shown in the video and you draw what you are seeing on the screen right now from the neck neck nut you remember the nut from the nut this is the nut from the nut to the third fret so you draw this picture you draw it into your book as a picture you get something called the chord grid and this is how it's going to look so I can 
mark those circles around certain nodes on your string and you have to press it with the fingers that I have indicated like the index, the middle and the ring finger and strike it together and you get something called C major chord. So this chord will give you the pitch in which you have to sing a song or tell a story or just make, uh, just talk. You have to talk in that pitch and in Indian language it is called the Shruti. So this, these are the chords. Chords are triads. Triads is a collection of three notes minimum and you get a chord. So I have introduced you to the first chord. When you start studying the major scales, you start with a C. So I'm introducing you to the first chord, the C chord. So you can strike this C chord and then listen to it. Strike the chord and listen to it. I'm going to demonstrate on the video. Strike the chord and let it ring. Listen to it. To strike a chord on the guitar, we could get a song and sing it in the pitch along with the guitar. This is a very good attitude because uh, it helps to develop your musicality. So I suggest that you hold your guitar, catch a C chord, strike it and sing Karthik's song. Karthik is a first grade boy and he came to me with this song. And if you can write down the song before you sing it, it will be fine and great because that's how you go about doing it. That's how musicians go about doing it. So I have, I will send you the picture of the song. This whole the shape that you see in the chord grid, we're using your three fingers, the index, middle and the ring and be sure you strike both down and up, down and up, all along the song. So let's go about with the song. Let's sing, let's sing for me to song. Till earth. 